hi everyone it's me Deepa Yankaran and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen I have actually never uh, said welcome to my channel or my kitchen before so I'm not sure which one to say but I do want to say welcome so welcome again for joining me and I hope that you enjoyed this recipe I'm about to show you guys it's one of my favorites it is one of my favorite seafood dishes I love this so much so I'm so excited to share it with you guys so today I'm going to share with you guys my recipe to make curry lambi or curry conks so I love curry conks I really do and I cannot wait to share it with you guys so this is the way that I make mine and I hope that you like this recipe as much as I do and this is what it looks like so in the pack that it came in I got this from fish bar again thank you so much fish bar for gifting me all these wonderful seafood um, this variety of seafood I enjoyed making it and of course I enjoy sharing it with you all so I hope that you enjoy this recipe and let's just let's get straight into it so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how I'm going to clean my lambi and then I'm going to show you guys how I season it and then I'm going to show you guys how to cook it and then I'm going to show you guys how to eat it too so let's get straight to it and I hope you guys enjoy this video so now I'm going to start cleaning my lambi now I like using these plastic mats because it's very easy to wash very easy to clean especially when you are um, dealing with meat and seafood and so on okay so the first thing I'm gonna do I am going to cut out all these excess skin that is on the outside you want to try to get the skin off peel the skin out so just take your time I like using a knife because it's just easy to grip it uh, the skin okay guys so I have my Lambie here all cleaned up and now I am going to cut them into little cubes Okay guys, so now I am going to wash it now to wash this do not use any lime or lemon or vinegar or anything like that That's actually how they made ceviche if you are familiar with ceviche they actually marinate um, seafood in uh, lime or lemon juice and that actually sort of cooks the seafood so I'm not gonna go into the science behind that but that's basically what it does so you don't want to get this hard you don't want to get it too tough what we want is a nice tender um, tender consistency so I am going to wash it with flour okay so I have about a quarter cup of flour and I'm going to add some water and you want to just wash it really well with your flour this will eliminate that any extra freshness and it would clean it really well and we want to do now just rinse it really well so you want to get all that flour out of this okay so now I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric or saffron powder just a little bit actually takes the freshness out and it helps to clean your seafood okay so next I'm going to add a little bit of paprika powder I am going to add a little bit of chili powder Oops. a little bit of black pepper and some Himalayan pink salt and you want to just give this a nice stir next I have some fresh green seasoning that I blended so this would be bandana or charabani and celery, scythe, garlic, pepper so you can add whatever herbs that you like these are my favorites so you want to season this really well and once you're finished it's right to the best part where uh, we are going to cook this we're going to curry it now i have some chopped onions i have some chopped pimentos you can use hot peppers but i can't really eat a lot of um, hot pepper so i'm using pimentos i usually grate my um, garlic but I know there are a lot of people who have different ways of doing this you can chop your garlic I've also met people who would use 
a whole garlic so add it to your pot and when it actually cooks a little bit it gets really tender and what they would do is just take the back of their spoon and smush it down so you can also do that as well but this method just works for me so I grate my garlic and now for the fun part we're going to chunky our pot so I have my pot heating up here I just added a little bit of oil and now I am going to add all my chopped onions, my chopped pimentos, and my grated garlic. Okay, at this point I'm going to lower my heat. And the reason I'm lowering my heat is because I don't want my curry to burn. So I'm going to add just a little bit of meaty maybe a teaspoon of chat up mixed masala this is actually my favorite I love this just a little maybe like a teaspoon the chat up madras curry yeah I'm gonna be a little generous here a little bit of ground jeera I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric or saffron powder Next, I'm going to add a little bit of anjara masala. Give this a nice stir. Now, I use coconut milk. This is how I love my curry, but you can use just water. Okay, you don't have to use coconut milk, but this is the way that I love my curry. Okay, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of my coconut milk. And I'm going to continue to cook my curry a little bit longer, maybe about five minutes. At this point, if you want, you could increase your heat a little bit. Now you can see that my curry is drying up. And at this point, I am ready to add my lambi or my kongs to my pot. Here I have it. I'm gonna just start adding this to my pot. I'm gonna let the uh, lamb be cooked and it Delicious. smells so amazing. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys this. Oh, wow, it's a lot of steam. I did not add any water to this. This is actually all the water from that lambi, and I am actually going to let it boil down a lot more. Okay, so this has boiled down a lot, and now I'm going to add my favorite part, my coconut milk. So this is just about four cups of coconut milk. I am going to add one more of my favorite and secret ingredient. Tablespoon of sugar, brown sugar. So I am going to make dumplings and this is one of my favorite ways to make it. I incorporate fresh vegetables. I puree those vegetables. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And I also add a lot of fresh herbs to my dumpling because I love my food to look pretty. So it's not only going to taste good but it's going to look so pretty. And this is like the perfect way to trick your kids into eating vegetables. I hope you all like this. I left my dumpling dough to sit for like about 20 minutes and while I did that, I kept myself occupied, I cleaned out my kitchen, I washed up all my dishes so I would not have all of that to do when I'm finished. I even chopped up some fresh herbs and some tomatoes and pimentos because I love, again, I love my food to look pretty so when my uh, lambi is finished, I am going to definitely uh, garnish with some really beautiful fresh delicious fresh herbs and 
just before it's finished, I'm going to add the tomatoes to my dish. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'm now going to roll my dumplings. I'm going to make those traditional round little dumplings. And yeah, I'm going to set them aside until I'm ready to add them to my pot. So, here I have all these delicious stuff chopped up and ready to add to my pot when it's ready. Meanwhile, I am actually going to roll these out into cute little dumplings that I'm going to add to my pot later on. I'm just going to pinch little pieces of my dough. Um, this depends on how big you want your dumplings to be. I want really cute little bite-sized ones. So I'm going to just roll like this and then this way to form sort of a cute little oval shape. So it's going to be really small and neat like this. This is perfect. I'm now going to add my dumplings. better this smells so good oh my gosh it smells really good so I'm gonna finish this dish by just adding some fresh herbs on the top of it the rest of my chopped pimentos I'm gonna take my stove off and it's finished I'm gonna plate this up and I'm gonna taste it smelling so good I cannot wait to taste it You all have to try this recipe. It is so delicious. Creamy, tender, a little chewy, but it is really nice and tender as well. So I have a little bit of a piece of dumpling. My lambu, and get a good bit of sauce. You all need to try this recipe. You all need to try this recipe. It's so good. It is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please try it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth is so full. Food. I'm also on Facebook. You can follow me, just type in Deepa Yankaran. And if you try this recipe, send me pictures. If you have questions, comment down below. Ask anything that you want. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you again in my next episode. <laughs> Bye!